Number 7. Two trains, each having a speed of 30 km per hour, are headed at each other on the same straight track. A bird that can fly 60 km per hour flies off the front of one train when they, they are 60 km apart and heads directly for the other train. On reaching the other train, the crazy bird flies directly back to the first train and so forth. So we have two trains, one train here and another train here and we have a crazy bird that's going like this going from the, from the first to the second one and then the second one to the first and so on what is the total distance that the bird travels before the trains collide so the initial distance between the trains is 60 kilometers and their initial velocity is 30 kilometers per hour and 30 kilometers per hour but in the opposite direction so what we can see is that the, the speed that the, the velocity that the train are approaching approaching each other is the sum of their velocities so we can think that one train is, is still and the other one is moving with the sum of their velocities so we can think for example that this train in the right is moving at 60 kilometers per hour so since the, the, they are approaching at 60 kilometers per hour and the distance that the distance that they have to travel is 60 kilometers so 60 kilometers per hour we we can we can travel 60 kilometers in one hour so the trains will collide in one hour so the time that we have is one hour so what we have to do now is calculate how far the bird can fly in one hour so let's just remember that v equals delta x over delta t we, we could use the, the equation to calculate this one hour here but i think it's pretty straightforward so we want delta x delta x equals v times delta t the velocity of the bird is 60 kilometers per hour and the time it has is one hour so it can fly one kilometer uh, 60 kilometers that's it this is the answer of the exercise